everybody and welcome back to my channel and today we are back with a brand new 2022 Lee Max North Pole Control Tower. Let's get into it. Okay, so quick shout out to today's sponsor, Weffy's Closet. It's a one-stop shop for all of your jewelry needs. So check her out at weffiescloset.com or on Instagram at weffies underscore closet. Okay, so North Pole Control Tower. This one is cool. It's, a, it's not the biggest house in the world, but it's a nice little addition and kind of a unique theme. So let's look at some of the facts. It was released, of course, in 2022. And the SKU number off the top, 25864. Now for some dimensions. We have 10.20 inches high, 8.54 inches wide, and 4.96 inches in depth. Product type, lighted building, and it is made of resin. Now let's talk power. We have 4.5 volts DC, and it draws about 85 milliamps. So this is one of those pieces you could put on those multi-adapters with not too much other things that are pulling heavy weight on it, and you should be just fine. Now let's talk price. They seem to be averaging about 76 Six ninety nine dollars to seventy nine ninety five, kind of depending on which retailer you choose to go with. Uh, that look, you know, shipping is going to play a part as well. So, you know, different companies offer them for different prices. So that about wraps up all of the facts. Now it's time we take a closer look. So starting from the top, you are going to see a couple really cute touches. Uh, first and foremost is the satellite. It's cool. It fits the theme well right next to the North pole itself if you will and it has like a little christmas stocking on it it's kind of a cute little touch and a nice topper for this piece there is also an led strip up there that helps bring some color to this piece it's kind of the standard led strip we're starting to see on a lot of these lee max houses very colorful definitely bright enough to do the job now let's move on to the head of the tower itself. There are two elves in this control tower. There's a lot of buttons and switches and things like that that they could control, you know, the incoming planes and all that kind of stuff. Uh, they have binoculars, they're looking out. It's really cute, you know, it really plays into the theme. They did a really good job here of keeping a hold of the theme the whole way through. Next up is going to be the countdown clock. Now it does not move, there's no animation here like that. Uh, however, it's another beautiful accessory, you know, having the clock right there in the center with the tower, and it says countdown to Christmas. You know, it's really cool. The thing that kind of threw me a little bit about it was that it says countdown to Christmas, but they're not necessarily days, it's actually time, like a clock. Um, so I guess if it was Christmas Eve, then that would make a little bit of sense. As we work our way more towards the middle, you are going to see another set of LEDs. And I like that the, the direction of them going up because it kind of makes the tower appear taller than it actually is. Uh, there's also a nice contrast here. We're getting some real nice red, like a big block of red right there in the middle. And it's not overtaking or anything. It actually plays off that gold that you just saw above us really, really well. The next thing I want to show you is the logo itself. It says North Pole Control Tower. Has a beautiful gold trim as well as a candy cane themed trim as well. And the fonts and the color mix, it seems to really tie in again really well. You know, I'm going to say this in this video a lot about the theme. They really held to it here. There's also a wreath with a little bow and that's kind of a cute little addition as well. Very Christmassy if you will. As we work our way down more towards the bottom now, we're going to start at the sleigh hanger sign. It's, you know, a little plain, but it's there, and that's where Santa would keep his sleigh. But as you're going to see in this video, Santa actually already has the sleigh out, so I'm guessing he's getting ready to take off. Therefore, you know, it must be Christmas Eve. So, the sleigh hanger has some beautiful doors on it. There's also a Christmas tree right out front, and another sign that's kind of a cool, kind of feels like what you would see at the North Pole, of, you know, kind of like that Santa Claus movie if you will. That's the kind of design it kind of feels like to me. Uh, all right, moving forward, there is Santa himself. That's right, it's a Christmas house. You got to have Santa. He's in a beautiful sleigh, good size, a lot of nice contrast in the color. Santa does look a little big for the sleigh, however. So, you know, um, the scaling might be a slightly off on that one, but nonetheless, it's there. There's also a reindeer in front. Uh, look, they're getting ready to take off. They gotta go. They have a lot to do on Christmas Eve. 
There's also a beautiful entryway behind him, has some nice doors, a little bit of rock work, and again with those gold colored pillars, you know, that gold is kind of really sprinkled in this place, and Christmas and gold just go very well together. Uh, as we continue to work our way around the bottom here, there's also going to be some elves and more trees and some more sign work and a lot of snow on the ground because it would be cold at the North Pole. Uh, so again, you know, there's actually a lot going on here, even though there's not really any animation or anything like that. Detail wise, they really put in quite a bit for you know this piece, and for not being the biggest house in the world, they actually did fit quite a bit. Now, I want to bring you over to the side of the house where it is the loading zone. So, you have an elf in there which looks to be pulling out the toys, the big bag of toys that he's going to be taking over to Santa's sleigh. Uh, look, you know, it's another one of those details that, you know, didn't have to have it, but it looks really nice, you know, and it fills in the house. And look, the houses aren't getting any cheaper either. So, it's nice when they try to go that extra step for you. Lastly, I want to bring your attention to the back. They did an absolutely beautiful job once again. That's kind of been a theme with this 2022 line this year you know the front and the back has both really had a lot of effort put into it and you know look for the price again I'm, I'm gonna keep going back to that we truly do appreciate that so look overall it's a beautiful addition to your village uh, it's kind of a unique theme as well as far as the control portion of it so if you're looking to add that little extra spice to your North Pole this will be a great option for you so with that said I'm gonna go ahead and hit the lights here in a moment I thank you as always for continuing to support my channel and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one